Hey everybody, good morning. It's uh, Josh here and I've been reading this book and I thought uh, I'd read a couple more of them out of here. It's called Words to Live By. And I've uh, just been doing a couple at a time because I think that they're all very inspiring. I haven't read them, so we'll read them together. So if I mess up, I apologize. This one's called Mileposts by Dale Carnegie, author of How to Stop, Stop Worrying and Start Living. And the quote he says is, or he chose, was, Anyone can carry his burden, however hard, until nightfall. Anyone can do his work, however hard, for one day. By Robert Louis Stevenson. He goes on to say, One of the most appalling comments on our present way of life is that half of all our hospital beds are now occupied by patients with nervous and mental troubles. And a principal cause is that too many people allow themselves to collapse under the crushing burdens of accumulated yesterdays and fearful tomorrows. Here's the problem. You and I are standing in this split second at the meeting place of two entities. Sorry, two eternities. The vast past that has endured forever and the future that is plunging on the last syllable of recorded time. We can't possibly live in either of these eternities, but we often try to do so. And in the process, we wreck both our bodies and our minds. The answer, as Stevenson says, is to live for today. Of course, it may be that part of today's work calls for reviewing the past or planning for tomorrow. But there's no excuse for doing so with panic or regret. Instead, we should get the facts and push on from there. Today is the only time we can possibly live. Let's not turn it into a physical and mental hell by endless worry about the future. Let's also stop fretting over the blunders we made yesterday. Remember how a walking trip always seems shorter if we concentrate, not on the total distance to our destination, but just the distance to the next milepost. In the same way, we should concentrate on living within today, then better tomorrows will inevitably follow. I really like that. I'm going to have to keep that one. That's a classic. So I'll read one more while I'm at it. This one's called Setbacks by Ferenc Molnar, noted Hungarian playwright. <clears throat> His quote he chose was, Work is the best narcotic by Maurice Molnar. Exactly 50 years ago, my father gave me the words I have lived by ever since. He was a physician. I had just started to study law at Budapest University. I failed one examination. I thought I could not survive the shame, so I sought escape in the consolation of failure's closest friend, alcohol, always at hand, apricot brandy to be exact. My father called on me unexpectedly. Like a good doctor, he discovered both the trouble and the bottle. In a second, I confessed why I had to escape reality. The dear old man then, then and there improvised a prescription. He explained to me that there can be no real escape in alcohol or sleeping pills or any drug. For any sorrow, there is only one medicine, better and more reliable than all the drugs in the world. Work. How right my father was. Getting used to work might be hard. Sooner or later you succeed. It has, of course, the quality of all the narcotics. It becomes habit forming. And once the habit is formed, sooner or later it becomes impossible to break oneself of it. I have never been able to break myself of the habit for 50 years. I have mixed feelings on that one. Um, yeah, work is a narcotic. I wouldn't say it's necessarily in the, a good one, but um, I want to read another one, but I'm not going to. Anyway, peace. Hope you're all doing well.